both a little freaked out. Someone, apparently there are two people in the square we were just in were just caught with the coronavirus, so. Well, now we're scared, so we're going home. <laughs> <laughs> We're not staying on this island anymore. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> so scared. I can't. We're really scared. We're on the water taxi now. So, or water, whatever. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. <laughs> We've just disinfected no, everything, Caroline. Literally everything. That's my like, coat hanging, the drying ferry, from her face these. Was, like, out towards the, like, <laughs> the ocean or whatever. And, like, wasn't She's talking to Sam. Looking at anyone. <laughs> and, like, and then on the bus, yeah, like our little disinfectant wipe. Can't touch my face. Anything. <laughs> it was so. Yeah. Bus into the airport. Still nervous as hell. Hey Caroline, so I feel like this video needed an update about the coronavirus, but um, so we're on quarantine for two weeks. Me and Monica are um, not like super, super officially, but the Romanian government has told us to stay in our houses and so is our company. So that's cool. Um, but it is day three or day four of us being home and neither one of us have any symptoms. And most people show symptoms by day two. That's what I meant to say when I was finishing up this clip, but I never did. So 2022 Maddie popping in to give a little bit more background. At the time, I wasn't even sure how much I could say, but the reason I said we think that the government asked us to stay in our house is because what really happened when we landed in Romania is they didn't know what to do with us. We'd just come from Italy. Um, we actually had a layover somewhere else in Italy, so we didn't come directly from Venice. They knew that there had just been an outbreak in Italy. That was the last time flights from Italy came into Romania, I believe. We land, we get on our buses because they don't have jetways at the airport. We take our buses to passport control. Romania, Romania is part of the EU, but not part of the Schengen area, which is the area where you can actually travel without getting your passport checked every single time. So we go to passport control to go get our normal passport checks. It's probably 1230 and it definitely felt like we were the first flight from Italy to come in um, of the weekend because they had no idea what to do with us. They took all of us off the plane, which we were both Monica and myself were very freaked out by being in the plane in general. And we get on this bus and they lock us in the bus for about 45 minutes. And so you're on this bus with half of the plane for 45 minutes, waiting for them to figure out what to do with us. They ultimately ended up opening two lanes of passport control. Then they wanted us to go in at one bus at a time so that they could have as few people in there as possible. The other planes were all just coming in and going straight through passport control. So we get into passport control and both myself and my friend did not know Romanian um, and there was there's a lot of paperwork in Romania in general. We walk in and for once they're like, okay, Ed, you have to sign this piece of paper. We had no idea what this piece of paper said. We were just like, okay, if we can leave. And we sign the piece of paper. They take our temperature. They write our temperature on the piece of paper. And we go through passport control. We finally get to go home, like probably after an hour after the flight landed, which is a really long time for going through passport control in that airport. I know in like major airports, that's about the length of time, but usually we would get through passport control in five, 10 minutes. So we go home, we don't think anything of it. And we find out from our work the next day that we, be I believe the piece of paper that we signed was us saying that we would quarantine in our home for two weeks because they didn't have tests at the time. If we showed symptoms of coronavirus, then we would contact the authorities. I believe that's what we were signing. Again, this was two years ago now, so I, I really don't remember, but that's why.
commemorate it's the so forced warmth. It was so good. Well, here's me and my groceries. It's beautiful outside. It's the middle of March. Yeah, so it's this time of year that it's actually the coronavirus is going on um, it's because it is February 6th, March 2020. And I've been working from home. I'm on week three or four for now, probably going to be longer. Um, and that is my biggest grocery haul I've had because you don't know if they're going to try to keep people in their houses permanently. Um, and I couldn't go to the grocery store before I actually got quarantined. So, great. Just wanted to update you it is now mid-march and i am on week four of probably eight weeks of work from home because of the coronavirus i'm not no longer really traveling anymore um, i'm not even really leaving my house anymore honestly yeah hopefully in a couple months things will be better but i'm really hoping the best for the world right now <laughs> from April 7th, 2020, and we are on week, uh, I think, six, or I'm on week six of working from home. I don't know how many weeks at this point. The minimum, minimum 10, um, but probably 12 or maybe even longer than that. I no, don't leave my house at all. Roma I haven't updated you, but Romania went on official lockdown almost three weeks ago. Weeks ago, you have to have a piece of paper to leave your house. It's a declaration saying why you're leaving your house. And the only reason I can leave my house is to get groceries. That is it. I don't have any other reason that meets the criteria. Have made all flights like not allowed from between Romania and the United States. So it's basically impossible for me to get back to the United States. I also haven't updated you, but my company almost sent me back to the United States a couple of weeks ago but ultimately we all made the decision that it is safer for us to stay here at this point because in the United States things are not going well right now not to say that in Romania it's perfect but it's a little bit better honestly so I'm still working from home this is my work from home setup I got my Spotify slash podcasts going on my personal computer and um, I really wish I had a monitor, but that's fine. And um, my workout mat. I do try to do workouts on every day, but it doesn't always happen. <laughs> and my view, which I watch sunsets every day because I have nothing else to live for right now. All right. Well, I'm going to go back to work now. I'll update you hopefully in a couple of weeks. Um, I hopefully will be telling you that I know the final date. But who knows? It's empty at this time. Going to the grocery store. Hi, I haven't updated you in a second, but it's April 16th. It's the weekend of Orthodox Easter, which most people in Romania are Orthodox. So their Easter is this weekend and I'm supposed to be going to the Baltics, but we are still, of course, on lockdown due to the coronavirus. And we just found out today officially that we are going to be working from home for another month until May 15th, which really means we're going back to work on May 17th, if that happens. I'm really hoping that that's going to happen um, because at this point now, I have been 
in quarantine for almost eight weeks. So um, that's four more weeks, so we'll see. Um, I just painted my nails because I have nothing else to do with my life and I'm rewatching Euphoria because I love it. Is Sia probably again from quarantine, maybe from traveling in late May. <laughs> Brian and I are going on a walk. It's the middle of May. We're still on lockdown. It's great. Just waiting. This is Babish, the school. I didn't know. Day one post lockdown. It's May 16th, and this is the day that we are free. Not really, though, because we still have to wear masks. Yeah, second day. But you still have to wear masks in enclosed areas. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is such a pretty building. See, friends? We can gather in groups of three. <laughs> <laughs> My two friends. Wi-Fi is out so she has joined me and we've made her a second monitor as you can see <laughs> so still here my workstation got upgraded I have a monitor and now they just announced the Nora final leap date is June 20th now it's been moved up originally it was July 7th um, because there was probably going to be a two-week quarantine when we returned back to the United States. And then we found out the rest of the Kaluge office, they're going to be starting to transition back in other than our essential production workers and management who are already there. Other employees will start being phased in after on June 22nd. So legitimately, we are not going back to the office. So just still working from home. It's less than a month to go though. So... Well, today is day 100 in quarantine. It's June 2nd. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's not full quarantine like it was before. I can still go outside. I've seen some people in the last two weeks. It's just been great. Um, we are going home a couple weeks early. If I haven't mentioned, we're going home on June 20th. So I have three more weeks. And I'm outside because it's beautiful. The sun is setting. Um, it's actually kind of cold even though it's June. And I'm just really excited to go home. You know, things are <laughs> crazy right now actually in America. If you know June 2nd, a couple days ago, where a lot of things have been going on with the Black Lives Movement, um, which has been really interesting being the American answering all the questions about it to my coworker. The world is changing. <laughs> so. It's June 7th or 8th? I don't know. Only got less than two weeks.